Welcome back to The Sims 4 Pokemon Gen 1 theme. And we have finally reached the Elite Four. See these four Sim dots over here? I'll quickly show we have Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, and this one's supposed to be Lance, but I forgot to write the name. Don't worry, you will see the creative Sims for all of the Pokemon that I had to add for these Elite Four trainers soon. But first, I want to explain how this is gonna work. Now this series has been going on for a while, and with each episode, I've had to battle in really odd and different ways. So I was trying to figure out how we could make the Elite Four battles much more interesting to make them stand out from every other battle in this series. Well, I think I came up with a solution. Say hello to the Mess Yourself Hunger Games house. So I was trying to figure out cool ways to eliminate my Sims. I mean, Pokemon Sims. And I came across his Hunger Games video and I was dying laughing. And I thought it would be fantastic to have each of these different levels of Hunger Games be each of the four Elite Four battles. So we're gonna try this and see if it actually works out. And uh, if not, I'm sure it'll be hilarious either way. But first, Pokemon trainer Lauren needs to pick her squad. And I know, I know, usually in the games you're supposed to go get like Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres, but we're gonna do that next episode and keep all the legendaries in one episode, them and Mewtwo and Mew and all that good stuff. This episode is all about uh, kind of battling slash killing Sims Pokemon? It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun, I promise. I hope. All right, so I think we need to assemble our squad. All right, so we can only take six, and we need to keep the same Pokemon for the entire Elite Four battles. So if any of ours die off, well, then we're gonna be in trouble. I say I assemble my EV team back, keep Venusaur, let's give Lapras and Aerodactyl, take Vaporeon and Flareon back. What do we got? We can only have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god, this is six right here. Maybe I should swap Gyarados for somebody. Who else we got? Maybe we'll just take Eevee? So we can have the actual Eevee squad? Oh, I want nine tails too, but I mean we have Flareon. Hitmochan. Yeah, fine. I'll do my Eevee group. Gyarados back. Then I have pretty much almost one of every type. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, before things get started and get a bit crazy, this is the first Elite Four trainer that I have to battle. Lorelei. <laughs> And her Pokemon team consists of Jinx. So oh, my horrifyingness. Dugong. Cloyster. Lapras, which we don't have a creative sim for because I already made her in another episode. And Slowbro. So I realized while trying to get them to meet so that I could invite them to the Hunger Games house, I realized that I can't bring everybody from each squad to the house. So I think we're only going to bring Pokemon to the house, not trainers. And we can only do eight. So we got to do four from our side and four from their side. And we can switch it up per each battle. You'll see what I mean. So for the first battle, I think I'm going to bring only Pokemon that are super effective toward her Pokemon, which would be flying, grass, ground, or dragon. So we're going to bring Dragonite, Venusaur, Valerion, because ice isn't that strong against fire, and Vaporeon, because the same reason. And for her Pokemon, I'm going to bring my favorites that I made, which is Jinx, Dugong, and I'll do all the newer ones. Sorry, Lapras, Slowbro, and Cloyster. Perfect. Oh. My. God. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so technically, on this plot, there's supposed to be like four different Hunger Games challenges. There's the Swimming Mage one is the first one, and then there's these I have to break, and then we see who gets electrocuted first trying to fix it. And then this is the Fire Room challenge. Up here is supposed to be the Sauna challenge, but I just realized I don't have that uh, expansion set. And then up here is the Cow Plant challenge, which uh, they're all dead. Let's see if this even works. I was gonna say that each challenge is 
one of the four Elite Four challenges, because to do all the challenges for every Elite Four person is going to be a little ridiculous. All right, so for the first battle of the Elite Four, we are going to complete the first challenge of this Hunger Games house, which is the Pool Maze. Now, I think the way that we're going to do this, and I say I think because I don't know how well this is actually going to work, is whatever Pokemon makes it there first is the winner. And then even if I do win, whoever the last Pokemon is will be eliminated. So hopefully it won't be one of mine. Because if one of mine is eliminated, I can no longer use them in any of these Elite Four battles. Let's see how well this works. I don't know if I'm going to say that all of them need to go to that area over there. Let's just see if anybody goes from their free will. Come on, guys. Free will, come on. Come on, Pokemans. Pokemans, Vaporeon, you love water. Come on, please. Let's see if they even try to go. All right, nobody's going. Nobody wants to go. All right, well, we're gonna have to tell everybody to go. Form a group and go here together. Ready, set, go. Go, go, go. yes, yes, go. Oh no, Slowbro's in the lead. No, 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 Eevee, run, Eevee, run. Little Eevee, go, 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 go. Little Eevee, yes. Oh my God, you are my hero, Eevee. Where are you going? She's going to go. Yes. And Vaporeon. Yes. I don't know where the rest of you go, but you're all on the chopping block now because the last one of you to make it is going to die. I mean faint, but pretty much die. Come on, Vaporeon. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh, she cut in the lead. Eevee, please don't get lost in this maze. Please make it there. Where's everybody else going? Eevee, yes. Oh, no. Slowbro's in the lead of Vaporeon. Come on. Eevee. Yes, you are my, my favorite. Thank you. I believe in you. The rest of you are stupid. Jinx, I was rude for you. You're like the coolest looking character in this series. Yeah, yeah. No, no crap. All right, I'm telling you guys, you gotta do it again. Go here together. Try again. Let's see. Are they coming back? They're coming back. I mean, put a little bit of effort in, guys. Come on. It's not like your lives depend on it or anything. Right now, it's looking like Venusaur might be in last place. Eevee? <gasps> Yes! We win! That's all that really matters! Except that I'm kind of mad because I'm pretty sure Venusaur is gonna die. And I won't be able to use her in any of the other competitions. Good job, EVA! Go stand in the victory area. Oh no, Slowbro got second. Oh well, at least he didn't get first. Vaporeon got third. My Pokemon got in the top three. That's all I could ask for. Okay, Vaporeon go in. Lock door for everyone. Perfect! These are our top three winners. Where's the rest of them? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, well, some of them went. Ah. Okay, well, we got Cloyster in the lead, and then Dragonite and Jinx. Uh, yeah. Venusaur, come on. Oh, where's Cloyster? Did he pull Way in the lead? What is going on? Oh, he went the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. They went all the way back to the start. Oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Okay, Venusaur, you may actually have a chance now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Cloyster made it. All right. Cloyster's in. Ooh. Okay, Dugong, and then Jinx, and then Venusaur in the back. Oh, my God. Dragonite. This doesn't look very good for you. I hate to say. I thought it was going to be Venusaur, but it might be Dragonite. Oh, 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 man. Good thought Dugong got turned around. I just got to hope one of them gets confused or goes the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, no. Now we're just gonna have to go between Venusaur and Dragonite. See who the winner's gonna be. It's probably gonna be Venusaur. Dragonite. <sighs> Dragonite, you had such a chance to make it. Oh, no. Dragonite. Sorry, Dragonite. I mean, I don't know what the heck you're wearing. Let's change it back first. I'm sorry, Dragonite, but we won this battle. But you were our casualty while we were battling. And for that, we must make you faint. Bye, Dragonite. You were too slow. Oh, no. Dragonite. Freaking... <sighs> I had such faith in my team. <laughs> They're all just looking through the glass. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah. I probably should have made the doors not see-through. This is gonna make them all depressed now. No. Just take her. I need to move on to the next Elite Four battle. Take this. All right, and now we move on to the second person we have to defeat in the Elite Four. Ah, uh, yes. Our second Elite Four battle rival is Bruno. <laughs> ridiculously hot for no reason. And with him, his team includes Hitmonlee, which we already made in a previous episode, Onyx, who we already made in a previous episode, Hitmonchan, which we already made in another episode, and a new Pokemon edition, Machamp. <laughs> And 
this makes things easy because he only has four Pokemon for me to pick. So I will take his four and I will pick four of my own. Let's do this. All right, and this time we only got five to pick from because we're missing Dragonite, sadly. So against fighting, I think Jolteon's the safest to move out. And there we go. All right, so this is the fire challenge. We basically just wait around to see which one of them catches on fire first. If somebody from their team catches on fire first, we win. It just takes a little while. Yes, where? Where? <gasps> yes! Yes, it's somebody from their team. Nobody put him out. Nobody put him out. Nobody put him out. No, 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 that's cheating. That's cheating. No, no, cheating. No, no, no. Ugh, you freaking kidding me. Somebody put him out. You got lucky. Oh, somebody else is on fire. Where? Who? Oh, he's still on fire. Oh, oh, they're both on fire. No, 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 no. Flareon, no, no, no. Vaporeon, no, 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 no. Stop it. All right, I replaced the couch. Let's try this again. Come on, come on. Come on. I added more fireplaces. Everybody's just sitting on the couches. I hate so much that you guys put that fire out. Do you know how long this is taking now? Do ya? You probably don't. Oh good. Him only is cooking. Darn it. Now what's he doing? Wait, where's the food? I thought you were cooking. <gasps> yes, finally! Where? Where? Nobody put it out! Yes, him only! You are meant to go! It is your time! <laughs> no! 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 Oh. My. God. No. You know what? We're burning Hitmoly. This is happening. You are the one that's supposed to go. Let it happen. Just- just let it happen. It's happened twice to you. I'm not waiting another hour. I like how now nobody puts him out. Like, now that a, that a Pokemon did it, they're like, yeah, yeah, this is natural. This needs to happen. Yes. Yes. We win. We have won the second match. All right, time to move on to round three. In filming this ambitious Hunger Games Elite Four video, it ended up being so, so long that I've decided to split it up into two parts. So this is the end of part one. Part two is just as epic and hilarious with more Hunger Games challenges for mine and other trainers Pokemon to go through to see who is victorious in the next episode, which will be part two of the Elite Four Battles. And I will also update my Pokedex at the end of that one. Don't think that I forgot. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you are enjoying these Hunger Games challenges for the Elite Four ending of this series, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up before you go. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.